Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here in Boston once again to go on another big food adventure. I'm excited about this, so stay tuned. Bang, 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 let's get it. To get our day started, we stopped by Empire Garden Restaurant, a place that stays true to its traditions and offers dim sum right off the cart. Yes sir, what is up guys? I am here in Boston Chinatown once again this time around. We had to get our day started. I'm with my sister and my boy Giuliano. We eating that dim sum and then some. That's right. Dude, I don't know what to order. It just looks good. Mmm. Nice chewy. Man, I've been craving dim sum for a good three to four months since COVID hit. I haven't been to Boston in about a year. This is hitting all the cravings that need to be fulfilled. And all that tripe. Oh shit, dude, I can't even get in the chopsticks, <laughs> dude. Like, I'm struggling. Different. It's the it's consistency, like, yeah, the it's chewiness, like chewy, right? chewy, yeah. I didn't expect it to be chewy. It's good though, right? It's real good. <laughs> she ugly as hell. Shalom Bao's right here. Soup dumpling. I'm saying not as much broth as I was looking for, but instant service, so I cannot complain. Right off the cart. Really? Mm -hmm. Very short ribs right here. Mm -hmm. Mount in your mouth right there. Shumai and uh, chicken feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are like two must haves in dim sum. Whole with the head, just how I like it. Salt and pepper shrimp right there with some scallions. Dig in, dig in. That's how we eat it. I never ate the head of a shrimp, so. Let's go. Hey, you're right. That's fire. It's, it's like, fire, it's right? like crunchy, yeah. So all that head meat is called like head butter, mm -hmm. like in uh, lobster, shrimp, and stuff. Yeah. It holds like a lot of oh, so much flavor and like. Yeah. Fortunately enough that like with the shrimp you could eat the shell off of it. Mm. Hold on. This one is good, right? <laughs> My chicken feet right they there. They have it in here. But I don't know. Where did you guys like go to spot? Is it here? You know, like, like when you're eating chicken feet, spongy, buoyant. Yeah, but I like it. I love chicken feet. Like we grew up eating it all the okay, time. Well. Yeah. Like any other trip to Chinatown, it's essential to stop by for some boba. And luckily, Tidu has some of the best around. Yes, sir. You got that Tidu on deck. Tropical splits. Fire. Mmm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Then it was a quick stop at Shoujo for some thick chashu robin. Then we headed to Great Taste Bakery. Your fuzzy shit is in my face, bro. Mm. What? Damn, man. It's in my 
All things tickety cake. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. The only thing I had to eat for the rest of my life. I'd be sure. Alright. You want to try this? Mm -hmm. oh, that is so soft, so decadent. Mm -hmm. Really light buttercream. But that cake does it justice. The fruit add a little bit of tart to it. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it comes together really well. That's it, and that's him. So we had two places so far, now it's three. Hopefully, we could get another two in. As cold as the day was, we enjoyed the trip to Boston. We looked at the views of Boston Harbor, ate a whole bunch of food. Then finally, we ended the day by going to Mirio, a Cuban restaurant that was way too dark and loud to shoot in there, but just know there was a lot of things, a lot of things in there and great food. So on that note, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Ping, ping, ping. I'm out.